empty feet Your hands lifting the weak Your hands stretched on the cross of Thank you for thank you for joining us this week. Uh, this week we want to focus in on the humanity of Jesus, focusing on the physicality of Jesus. We will use some words of a song to help us, a song that focuses on Jesus, who was fully human, physically engaged with the community that he came to live with and serve. How amazing that God would come himself into his world become one of us. In the words of John, very familiar words, uh, John chapter one, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only son who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the father has made him known. And then in Colossians chapter 1, Paul says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And then, for God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him. And through him, to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Some amazing ideas there, mind-blowing ideas. The Son is the image of the invisible God. The fullness of God dwelt in this human this human being who was living and breathing and walking and talking, the fullness of God lived in him. How amazing is it that when we read the stories of Jesus, when we see how Jesus interacted with the world around him physically, we're glimpsing God himself at work. Today we're going to focus in on the, the hands of Jesus. And the, the line from the song is, your hands washed dirty feet, your hands lifting the weak, your hands stretched on the cross of love. There's a number of passages we could look at, but we're going to read Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 to 4. Matthew 8, 1 to 4. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. And a man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. And then Jesus said to him, see that you don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. How amazing to be touched by Jesus. How amazing to have physical contact with Jesus. For those hands, hands of a carpenter, hands that also flung stars into space in the words of that song by Graham Kendrick. How amazing for this leper, this outcast, someone banished to the very edges of society, someone who was probably starved of human physical contact, to be touched by the healing hands of Jesus. These same hands constantly in our gospel stories reached out to people. You remember that story where Peter's walking on the water, suddenly starts to sink, and Jesus grasps his hand and pulls him to safety. We have numerous healings of the times when Jesus touched and healed, physically engaged with those who needed his healing and blessing. And then we have that very poignant story of Jesus getting down on the floor, washing the feet, the dirty feet of his disciples as part of that last supper. That model of the very servant king, and servant heart that Jesus had. And then of course, 
that image of those hands on the cross. Again, in the words of that song, to cruel nails surrendered. Those same beautiful hands stretched out on a cross of love, nails had driven through them because Jesus loved the world. I guess the challenge for me and for us is how do we use our hands? If Jesus used his hands physically to serve the kingdom he was bringing in, how do I use my hands for that kingdom? Do I use my hands to lift up the weak and to serve those around me? Do I use my hands to care and to love and to build up? Do I use my hands for more negative things, things that are anti the kingdom and cause people to stumble and fall? So I'm going to pray for us. And it'd be great if today, this week, we can go out and think, how can I use my hands in service of the king? Let me pray. May our hands be your hands, Lord Jesus, this week. May we use them to serve and to lift up and to bless. And we thank you, Father, that the Lord Jesus came fully human. That Jesus was a physical being who engaged physically with the world, who showed us how physically we can serve this amazing kingdom. Help us to be your hands this week. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. May God bless us this day. So oh.